was Saiyan Rose Goku Black. You will die today! What's up my Fuzzy Warriors news today, we are going to be talking about the best ways to get gems in All-Star Tower Defense. Now there's a lot of ways to get gems in this game, and uh, well actually, okay, there's there's a decent amount of ways to get gems in this game, and we're going to start off by saying there's probably about four or five. Now the best ones you probably want to go for are probably the ones that I'll start discussing first, but um, right off the bat we're going to start saying that Getting to the top of infinite, or at least getting on the infinite leaderboard, is definitely a really good way to get gems. You get a thousand gems every month. Now that's not the most ideal way, but that's still a steady amount of gems that you'll be getting. And once every month is still really, really good. All you have to do is, as soon as the board resets, just get to the highest wave you can, and no one is like allowed to pass you unless they get a higher wave than you. So that's still a really, really good way. Now, obviously, there's the old-fashioned um, time chamber. That a lot of people you know use but you still you know it's probably worth it to get the VIP game pass only because you do get double um, coins and double gems but the VIP game pass does not stack with um, Roblox premium but Roblox premium does work um, if you don't have the game pass but it does not stack if you have both now back again if you want to go to light Yagami if you have him he is amazing for getting gems, he's a great gem farm. All you have to do is go to infinite and just run light Agami and get that that beautiful beautiful damage um, task done. As you see I, can have, I have mine at like 281 million so that's still a really really good amount. That's you know maybe like 200 to 150 gems, 200 gems per infinite run if you get to a high, high wave with light. Especially having him at a high level the more damage you'll do. And the more enemies that you can hit is just a beautiful, beautiful amount of gems. Now, um, 200 gems per, like, or, you know, say 100 and 150 gems per infinite is really, really good. It doesn't take longer than, like, 30 minutes just to do a, a, a infinite to get that amount of gems. And that's, like, in the time chamber, I don't even know, that's, like, 30 gems? I don't even remember. Time infinite um, is just way, way better. So obviously, if you're just really going to go for hard, hard, hardcore gems, you want to use Light Agony. And if you don't have him, please summon for him. He's really, really good. Now the final way is obviously the most boring way. But still, you know, if you're a beginner, you can do this if you want. There's always the, you know, uh, what is it called? The story mode. And you get 20 gems per first clear. So if you do one whole story mode, you get like 120 gems. So there's like, I don't know, there's like eight stories right now, so that's a decent amount of gems. That's definitely more than um, a thousand gems right there. So, and there's also, also, there's also the evolved task. The evolved task is amazing, especially when you're doing light agami on infinite. The higher the wave, the more ghosts you get. So obviously, if you have those ghosts and you continue to evolve them, you get 40 whole gems for just completing that, which is absolutely crazy. Now, um... Obviously, if you want to do that way, the best way, in my personal opinion, is just to evolve people. And that's, you know, evolving people is just way better. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Tell me what you guys' favorite four star is. My, mine's definitely Nezuko. Hands down, definitely Nezuko. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more all-star tower defense content. Name him is out. Have a good day, and peace.